Okay, let's begin with the introduction. I'll play it through first and then I'll show you where I'm putting my fingers. So I'm starting on the E string. to the B string. So here I'm playing 7, 5, 8, 5, 8, 8, 8, 8, 7, 5, up to the G, 7, 5, 5, 5, 5, 7, 5, 4, I'm just sliding from 5 to 7. That's on the D string. So I'll play it again. This is the first half of the first verse. And what we're doing, we're playing the open strings here on the D and then the G. Then we're playing G, open, two, four, two, open, moving to the D, four, two, two. And again, open. Now we're sliding up to the fourth from the second. Slide two to four. Two, open. Five on the G. Slide up to the seventh. Down to the fifth. Four. Five on the D. Five, four, seven. Five down on the A. Four, seven. Okay, the second half of verse 1 is played exactly the same as the first part except for three very small differences. The first difference is when you, uh, when you start playing the tune normally we go but instead we're going to go so we're going to go down to that second fret on the A Okay, that's the first part. Then when we continue playing, we normally play... Except this time we're going to play the open D string twice. The next difference comes right at the end of that part. So I'm going to play on until I get there. Last time we did. Okay, but this time we're going to go. Okay, so we're just instead of going four, seven, five, we're going to go seven, four, five. And those are the three differences in that section. Okay, I'm going to play the chorus now. starting on the D on the 5th fret and then 
and I'm going down to the first fret of the B four times and then I'm sliding on the G up to the fifth and then playing five and five together on the B and the G so again To the, to the G string and I'm playing the 4th fret up to the 7th and when I come back down to the 4th fret I'm going to dip the tremolo just a tiny bit so it's very very tiny just a little so it's a half it's a half um, note dip and I just push it down with my fingers, just very gently. I'm not, I'm not holding it, I'm not going to push it hard at all. You can do it even with just the pressure of one finger. It's, it's that, that soft that you need to be with it. Okay, so then we go. So I'm sliding up from about the 2nd fret to the 4th ok, then we're going 3 and 5 on the B and then 5 on the G and now we're bending, I'm going to put my fingers on the G and I'm going to place the 2nd, the 3rd and the 4th frets so I'm bending Releasing and then I'm pulling off from the fourth to the second. Okay, so I play it through one more time. It's a it's a half um, it's a half bend. So you're trying to get from the fourth to the fifth note. Okay. We finished the chorus with that uh, with that half bend and the pull off. So we start. there was the way we started the verse because normally we play but this time we've got it here we've just gone straight into it from the chorus sound of this part here. Uh, we slide from the uh, from the second to the fourth on the G and then we play the third on the B string. Back to the fourth, two, five and five, so that's D and G. And then we continue. time we're only playing uh, one half of a verse. I've, I've called them, I call them, uh, you know, the first half and the second half, but I guess technically they're, they're both verses, so sometimes it gets a little confusing in instrumentals as to what is a verse and what is a second verse, Or, but uh, hopefully you'll, you'll get the idea. If you have any problems, just check out my uh, cover video. You can follow along with that. I also have uh, tabs on my website. I'll play the solo part through for you now, and then I'll show you how it's done. As you heard, most
most of it's just uh, pretty much the same as what we've learned to play in the intro. So the only difference is on the G string at the end we slide up from the 5th to the 7th. And back down again. So we're playing 5 up to the 7th with a slide. We play this 7th four times. Back to the 5th, 4th, and then we're playing the D and the G string simultaneously. So we're going to play the 5th on the D and the 4th on the G. We have a chorus to do, which is exactly what we've already learnt. Then we have another half verse, what I call the half verse. Um, you can play this either way. You can choose to do it like I've taught you to play the first half of the first verse or the second half of the first verse. Um, it doesn't matter how you play it. If you'd like to play it exactly like I do it, you can, you can always watch my uh, cover video of this tune or you can get the tabs from my website. And um, it's not necessary that you play it identical though. It's good to be creative with music and if you, if you feel like playing it a different way, then go ahead and do that because that's I always encourage uh, creativity so if you've got your own ideas by all means put them in there and do your own thing so now we'll move on to the the outro or the the final section and it's played like this <laughs> there is I'm playing on the B string and I'm putting my fingers on 8, 9 and 10. I'm bending a whole step up and then I'm pulling off. Okay. Then I'm playing the 9th fret on the G and the 8th uh, fret on the B. So. Play that twice. The third time I play. So I'm just pushing that bend a little faster, going. Okay, and then we finish with this little scale. Okay, and that's. 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, okay? And I do a pull off from the 12th to the 10th. And now we're going to play. And my fingers are on the, uh, it's like a D shape. So if you're playing a D, just bring that same D shape and you bring it up here so you've got your index finger on the G string 6th fret your ring finger on the B string on the 7th fret and your middle finger on the 6th fret of the E strike once and then slide it up one fret okay. 